Hey you guys, I got a cool one for you today. Welcome to my Big Commerce Expert Series. I'm Cal, and in these videos I show you guys cool things that you can do with Big Commerce to get your creative juices flowing, but also just to show you how far you can go with the platform once you understand kind of how it works. Let me share my screen and show you guys what the heck I'm talking about today. Okay. Back on the RV Gear Pro site, we wanted to add a couple things here to our product pages because we're all about creatively getting content on the page that is valuable to the user and looks great and, you know, it's just beneficial to everyone. Um, SEO is all about how do you have the best content on the internet? And one of the things that I think Amazon does well is they show you very succinctly what the features of each product are. And we wanted to kind of emulate something like that and build in a system that worked in a couple different ways. So let me show you what we did first. We, let's see here. Okay, let me go to this product and we went to custom fields. So this is the back end of BigCommerce, just edited, editing that product. We entered uh, on every product in the store, three to five custom fields that are called feature just over and over again. Feature, 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 feature. Because these are our features and we wanna group them. We wanna know which custom fields are features versus which custom fields are not features. So in this product, because we only have these five custom fields, it doesn't look super obviously super obvious why we did that. But maybe we wanna add some more custom fields in the future. We don't want, we, we wanna future proof this concept uh, that, we're, that we're showing you guys today. So these are all types of features, so we called them features. And then in the value, we wrote out the whole the whole uh, feature itself, including the name of the feature or you know the the title of the bullet, if you will, as well as the value, which means you know we went into more depth. So you know it's got a powerful 30, uh, 13,500 BTU AC. What, but what does that mean, right? It means hey, stay cool in any weather with blah 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 blah. So it's not enough to just put you know bullets on a page if nobody knows what you're talking about you got to go into uh, some kind of explanation when you when you call out features it's feature and benefit right that's sales 101 feature and benefit well you know up here we sure we have features and we don't have enough room to make to show benefits without junking it up but what we did is we actually output all that stuff down here so let me tell you about this section first first of all <clears throat> We did an if statement that said, if there is a custom field call feature, then we want to create this section. So if there's not, this whole section, including the title, doesn't get put on the page in the first place, okay? Now, if there is at least so, at least one custom field that's called feature, then we're in business. And we put this H2 on the page that says, reasons to get the fill in the title here. So this is dynamically different on every single product page that has featured bullets because it pulls the title of the product up here. I think we added uh, an extra split statement too so that if there's like a, a dash after the title that we don't include anything after the dash, we just get like the first part because we don't want to have like an ugly H2 down here, right? So reasons to get the 15 signature series heat pump. That sounds pretty good and completely dynamic. Now the bullet points down here is where we're outputting the value of that custom field. But you notice that we have the title bolded and the value not bolded. And how do we do that, right? It's all just one field in the back end. What we're doing is we're using another split statement to say split this value on the semicolon and put the first part of it inside a span that's bolded. Put the last part of it as the value behind it. So we're taking one fill, we're turning into two, putting it side by side and bolding the first one. Pretty cool, yeah? All we gotta do is make sure to follow the same uh, format in our values for all the features as we add them throughout the store. And they'll appear here on the corresponding product page in a nice little block with an H2 and bold. But wait, there's more. Let's come back to the check boxes up here. If you notice, they're actually the exact same as the names of the uh, bullets down here. We're just not giving the, the full experience. We're not giving the subtitle up, up there because we want 
really a truncated view of the features, right? So we're doing kind of a similar thing. We're saying if there are features, then I'll put just the first part of it. So before the semicolon, throw a button there. And now we have nice Amazon style features up here. And then we, yeah, we're repeating them, but we're adding a lot more information down here, including a relevant H2, which is great for SEO. All with split statements and some custom fields. Hopefully you guys found that interesting. If you did, give me a like and let me know in the comments. Let me know what you guys would love to see a solution for. Keep my head in the box here. <laughs> Feel free to join our community, e-commerce amplifiers, or if you need a dev team that thinks like this, hit us up at epicdesignlabs.com and let's see how far we can push big commerce. Thank you so much.